I just want to say this, guys. Today's video is going to be about the Necromancer. If you have been following my videos on YouTube or been a part of my live streams here on YouTube, you can see since the dawn of Diablo 4 that I have been really, really, for lack of a better word, shitting on the Necromancer besides the Bone Spear build, which you can see that we're clearly playing. Um, in all of my time in Diablo 4, I always felt that the Necromancer was painfully slow. The only build that they had was... Bone Spear, there was nothing else. Minions sucked because, like, you need a ring to actually make them work. And this is the only build in the game that is a pet build. And all the best builds are non pet builds. Okay, you guys can see me. I'm playing Bone Spear at the moment, but that is besides the point. Okay, we are eventually going to be making a Necromancer minion build focused around the ring of Mendelin, which makes minions an absolute powerhouse. Now, Outside of that, I will say I've been playing Necromancer um, in Season 0. I played a good bit to 74. We are 67 in Season 1. And I got to tell you that I am having so much fun playing Necromancer that it pains me to make this video. Okay, it absolutely pains me to make this video because of how much I've been shitting on Necromancer. And, you know, with all that, let me put an asterisk next to it, okay? I don't, I don't dislike the class. I want Necromancer to be good, particularly with minions. And when we finally make a minion build, it's going to rock the house, okay? Thanks to my community, we're going to rock the house with a minion build. But I can tell you that just with Bone Spear, because we got a Deathless Visage very early, you can see that it requires level 60. We got it super, super early. So I've literally been doing nothing but Bone Spear. Now, I have no minions. I sacrificed them all. Because that doesn't really help Bone Spear a whole lot. But to negate the very slow, slow speed of the Necromancer, we have an increased speed in boots as well as the Wind Striker, which at 16%, let me tell you, is always on up to 16% because we are critting nonstop in this build. And then also increased move speed in my Amulet. So I have a huge movement speed increase, so much so that while I'm critting, I'm able to keep up with rogues, which is absolutely nutty. So for the past two days, not even a full two days, I've been having so much fun with Necromancer and I hate myself for it, okay? I hate myself for it. It really sucks. I have to reevaluate every tier list that I've ever done for this game and really just like hunker down and I'm just going to have to redo them all. Because I didn't have this experience in Season 0 with Necromancer. And this is prior to the Malignant Hearts. Now, Malignant Hearts do play a huge, huge factor in this build. I was playing it without the Malignant Hearts until I actually got them. Which I ended up getting two uh, out of the three best in slot. And I have the third one in my stash. Which is an, an absolute crazy mess. It makes this build almost seem invincible. As I would put it. Uh, or seem very, very easy to play, and then you only have, like, two buttons you actually have to press. And that's the the case part of the Decrepit Aura. We got best in slot roll on this. Uh, obviously, we didn't get the 25 out of, out of uh, 25. We got 15, but it's still very, very good. The, the zero enemies are near me are just so important here. So, this build is incredibly fast. Incredibly fast. I can move so quick. I get to cast Bone Spears, and I have a Get Out of Jail free card with Blood Mist. And once I actually put the Aura, the Aura um, Malignant Heart on a ring when I actually get a new ring slot here, uh, when I replace them, then I'm literally only going to be casting Bone Splinters and Bone Spear as well as Blood Mist. I never actually have to manually cast these three skills. And when everybody told me that Necromancer had the best hearts in the game. When you just read them, it's one thing. But when you're experiencing the malignant hearts, it's kind of hard to argue against it. Once I put that one in, I'm only going to be casting two spells, as well as maybe Blood Mist when I have to get in out of a bind. But this build, even without that, and I'm manually casting Decrepify, is still insane. We pull everything, and we just destroy all the mobs and... I'm having such a blast with Necromancer, okay? So we'll have a build video for this uh, coming soon. We'll probably do this once we get like a few more uh, pieces here in our rings 
and we swap out our chess piece. That's way, that way I have everything for you guys in an early end game build. But I can tell you that the Necromancer, I completely, completely am simping for this now. If you want to say that, my chat has already told me that. But I'm having such a blast with this build and the class with the increased move speed that I'm going to have to take a sec. I got to take a step back and really just reevaluate the game as far as classes. Because I'm, I'm a Druid main. So, uh, but a lot of stuff might be changing here in the future, guys. We'll see. We'll have to see how the, uh, what is it, the September 8th, um, patch notes come out and just affect the classes so we'll see but i'm having an absolute blast with this so like the video comment down below what tell me what you guys think about necromancer and maybe you guys uh low-key undervalued the class just like i did and was hating probably a little bit too much uh let me know down in the comments subscribe if you guys are new join us over here we stream five days a week on youtube we'd love to have you and as always stay gaming and i'll see you guys in the next one peace